And it continues for Team Liquid VP, our machine. I've got Sponge here for the analysis. We are into our pistol. VP starting this Dust 2 on the T side. We have Team Liquid batting down the hatches on the defense. Early util and aggression early ready. aggression, Chadney. Sanji's gone before he can fire a bullet. He's lost his util. Yekinder's not willing to swing, but Stewie is. And he's already taken another head. Hello. They are bringing the pain train straight into the VP station. Dropping back as well now. They have two quick openings from Team Liquid to kick this one off. And now VP, well, we know they like to hit that pause button, but they're not doing it on their terms right now. Buster Jane marooned outside long, kick it. He doesn't even know where the enemies are. Stuck in dark with that bomb. And Team Liquid, they've rejigged over towards long. They're taking territory back. Very proactive stuff. Ooh, no fun for Jane there. I think he backs away, thinks better of it. They back up, double up in pit. It's a luxury they can afford given the man disadvantage and they want to punish quick here they know that if they strike now it's just the b defenders chad they've isolated this if they can just win this duel it's glocks though and they've closed the gap missed shots from stewie give them a way back in fallen wants to show them out buster's gone naf catching some flag from kick it tons and it is down to jame not to be today just kick it and so team liquid without a single body dropped can they have the perfect pistol Kick it is very, very low here. 23 points of health. Has to make some sound cues. He even gets up towards short. He can get the plant here. Nah, nah, nah. This is the best out of a bad situation. It's an open runway run? right now. I think Fallen surely got the punish here. If he plants safe, he should be able to get away with this. Oh, lordy. He's managed. Go on. Jump. Oh, he's just actually in time. got it. Extra 800 for everyone involved. A clean round still from Liquid, right? You're bang on keeping everybody alive. But Kick it being able to get away with that plant, that's going to force so VP into a situation where Force Buy's on the that's card. That's two CTs with the, the free upgrade to helmet. Stewie and Naf catching a bit too much flak. Fallen with the buy-in on the kit. We'll see how that affects the buys and what they equip themselves with. We are going to be seeing Elise get the util org second round. It is the, the dream for any CT player with the flawless pistol. Yeah, that's a ridiculous second round buy here from Team Liquid. Uh, are VP going to force buy into this? We're seeing some nades purchased up very quickly. Sanji into a couple. Light pistols. So it looks like the buy on round number Not three. Not an SMG in sight, Chad. Yeah, it's almost perfect here because VP are only going to be giving away $300 per kill with these rifles that have been purchased on in. It also means for Liquid, when we do get to that first gun round, as long as they don't take too many casualties here, they're going to be set for success. So as long as they don't take too many casualties oh, just who's p250s who's gonna be dropping jame that awp as well it looks like it might be kick it here keep our eyes on that one has just some simple nades set up towards this b bomb site towards back of plat it is going to be naf again the org the scope at this range should be able to mow them all down five members in tunnels nade comes through they're going to use the smoke of it naf spams on oh, down oh, it hurts the meat grinder unloads and two bodies hit the deck it's into the heads jame desperately hoping for a p250 a stray bullet into his dome. They've responded now. The CT's very, very swiftly rotating back through mid to A. They do not want to let a single bomb plant or frag go down. They'll keep them at arm's length. And it is brutal. With the weapons they've currently equipped, there's just no way in for VP's pistols. Yeah, it could be two clean rounds in a row here from Liquid. You can see getting a little bit inquisitive towards mid now. Two man set up here. Not going to give them any space to work with whatsoever. And after that over-rotation from Liquid, they've been able to net all these gaps, gotten away without giving up too much information whatsoever. And these pistols from VP now just whittling down any utility they can. They should group up, see if they can find a kill. All the stuff here. that has gone down, but eh, it's not too many dramas. They'll be able to pick that one up. <laughs> Surely VP don't grab another plant. You'd assume so. Looks like Fallen's confirmed our suspicions. All right. Well, almost spotless. Naf, the only casualty so far. Two rounds in, and the CT's looking very comfortable. Recover the org as well. Won't be seeing that reinvestment, but it is time for VP to show us the first page of their strap book. Yeah, so Kigit has dropped that AWP across to James, so we're going to have the buy that VP are looking for going into the first gun round, but you couldn't think of a, a better weapon for the job there. Back a plat against the pistol, scoped on in. No dramas whatsoever. I'm going to look here. Liquid's buy, as we mentioned, is going to be bolstered by those early rifles. And hot to trot. Four-man Aileen straight away from Team Liquid, but VP straight over towards B. All right, Naf. Keep your head down. Util deployed. That shaves some time off the clock. Doesn't know how close he came. Had he not revealed or released that smoke. Towards mid then. Just watch your kinder this game, right? An absolute demon on these pathings for entries. His crosshair placement. Some of the best I think I've probably ever seen. This kid is an absolute monster as far as taking space and taking scalps is concerned. More pressure towards upper tunnels. Elijah's has been boosted up to cover off this mid to B. So there is a contingency plan in case they do try and split onto Naf's position. Fallen tucked in towards Goose. Stewie over towards the ramp and Grim. Well, he's got a tall task over towards Long. 
One minute on the clock and VP with this default spread are just taking space, but it's still Finish that me. upper tunnels. Yeah. Surely Naf can't get away with this again. Against pistols, it felt like a... Guarantee, I'm not so sold here, especially as James steps up to the plate. Oh, that's good damage. He steps out into the open and Buster's quick to punish. Elise sprinting from his boosted position and there's your kinder. 27, still in the chamber. He is set for success and it will be Liquid just locked out. Yeah, uncanny ability from VP to be able to isolate all these fights, make sure the trade potential of the CTs is just never there. And when you're left in a round like this, Team Liquid, sure, it was a flyer of a start, but no need to throw away guns, no need to give up anything extra in vain. They'll just be tucking in towards T-Spawn here, seeing if they can hold on to these three upgraded rifles. And a buy going forward shouldn't be too many dramas. Stewie and Grim, if they survive, can drop across. And this is just a standoff at this sec uh, section of the game. You don't have VP going aggressive. They need to build a bank as well. But good that we can get some action within these early stages. And if we've been noting anything with CIS teams, they love a good save and they also uh, don't really love a good hunt, so... Well, I mean, not holding out hope. I don't think anyone's going to walk past this thin line Grim has set in the sand. No one's making any sound cues either, so we will see everyone bringing all their goodies in. Yakinda's getting a little inquisitive, but nobody firing another bullet. Liquid won't be able to operate with an AWP against Jame here within the early stages. They just don't have the finances for it. And you can see here trying to reposition Naf just swarm. This is uh, the aim from Yakinda we're talking about. He gets one shot, he hits it. He's not messing about. And if he can continue that form that he had yesterday versus Astralis, then VP, it could be looking good That's to meet Gambit. That is a spawn and a half. Not sure where he'll be taking it regardless. And we'll see as we Jame on the cross, spots the one, smokes for the second. Heading towards another Bomb B tons lean. Let's do it a bit earlier on the backup B here, bolstering the numbers. So I'm going to try and keep my finger on the pulse of these isolating executes from VP, just being co constantly cognizant of where Liquid are, what the most likely stack of CTs is, and how they can, in a flash, fill the feed with two frags and force you into that save. Because we saw it so, so successful in their quarterfinal bout. Ouch, kick at swallows that. Doesn't deter him for a quick jiggle. Doesn't see anyone home. Yeah, they've been able to get cat control right now and utility hasn't been thrown out willy-nilly from Liquid just yet. So they'll have a bit to deal with this. Going. Taking space. What a shot, Fallen. Oh, in a second that is the tally. The, ledge. the bomb just dropped down onto elevator. Oh, that gets really awkward. You're right, kick it's already been the hero with two sensational shots. Naf catching Sanji, there's enough time now. Kickets had to drop down. Stewie, this could be everything. His life is now gone. Bomb thrown up, Jame to plant. Saved by Kickit, not only in the frags, but saving the bomb as well. Doable Naf. now, they yeah. might consider this. Grim yet to really have any impact. He was long this entire time. Now returns from Cat, and a full set of util for Naf on the way back in. Kickit's position doesn't have the most impact if they lose Jame. His life, very valuable. Good util usage, gives him time to walk on in. Jame, though, has isolated Naf. Grim advancing, needs a chance. He does just see the jiggle, James, so elusive. He does find him. If he holds it, it's down to kick its jump. And Might have it. The spray. Grim steals it from under their noses. He'll take the frag, maybe even the orb. That is golden stuff from Grim. Huge play right there. Absolutely mammoth on that retake. They weren't even considering that. The only reason this happens after kick it demolishes the A defense. A flash as well. He got just a flash of the head poking above the box before his vision was taken. Bomb down, he saves it. Grim just stares down that jumping bunny rabbit from kick it. <sighs> oh. Fallen doesn't need to do much more than applaud. He's just been given a gift, a third for Team Liquid. Speaking of gifts, Stewie actually has the AWP going into this round right here. So Fallen won't be gifted that to defend A with. Might be considering more pressure over towards B or these mid to B splits from VP. So Stewie will be able to back up Naf over towards tunnels. Got Jane back on his big green as well. The buy is better for VP going into round number five. Melting now, Naf Whoa. down very, very low. 35 HP remaining as Yukinda mantles on up. More pressure over towards Cats. So at this juncture, VP know they can get short for free. Have utility to go for the execute again. Maybe just some more numbers behind it. Very unfortunate with that bomb drop in the previous. Unlikely to see that happen again. Grim, sole defender on the A site right now. 
Kick it's looking hungry. Oh, spread. It's such a good spread. He's oh going to go my. down. Grim catches Kicker. The spread was just enough. He likes to jiggle on the top of the box. Grim does seem to have done his homework. Elige, quite the off angle here. James tight line's not going to be so rewarding, and he silently and gracefully dismounts as well. Three gathered up short, James, to catch that B rotate. They'll have to force it, though. We'll have to see a frag, have to see bloodshed, your kinder. Two mollies towards the ramp, a flash set for his teammate. It holds them at bay. Grim got caught as well, a second. Elige backs up to ramp, there's three here to receive them. Needs a precision and Grim's struggling. Oh. Yakinda isn't. Back onto the site with the first frag. Bombs on his way, courtesy of Sanji. Jame onto Stu. Awkward if Elise doesn't find anything. Can Yakinda make sure of it? And that seals the deal. Jame fills the feed for a final. Yeah, great stuff there from VP. Jame was just in charge of covering that B rotation, making sure they couldn't get over and help those A defenders. Now that right there is the procedural A execute, but they've done it with limited utility. Sure, this is a bit of blunder to kick things off. That smoke didn't land where they wanted it. You can see it getting flubbed right there. I think it went into the back of a teammate and kick it's gone down with maybe a little bit of overcomplication there. But you can see as they take, they're not rushing it. They're getting out to bridge. They take their fights. They make the next duel. They get into the site. They isolating. And when they have more utility going forward, we'll get to see it in full force. Stu's been tagged down on the cross. It is a force by here from Team Liquid. They don't want to give up on the economy just yet. That nade could have been a real, real sour death for Stu. He... Jumping for info. He's given a rare opportunity to pluck the head off of your kinder early. But just some early damage in favor of the VPT side. Using their util to great success, that should force combined with a second a frag, but no, look at that! He catches them sleeping. Yakinda was turned for the flash. Aim wasn't there though. And so blood drawn. VP now flooding here. into A. Yeah, what are you supposed to do with a scout? After the first miss, you should be cooked. More damage inflicted, but that'll be about it. A USP for Fallen, not much longer. And now. Just the final two pieces of the puzzle. Nas pushed up long aggressive, might hope to catch a buster perhaps off guard, steal away something. Oh, Jame gets the info and Buster can convert it. Flawless from VP, that's not losing a single man. Yeah, so next round, 1,900 loss bonus, right? We won't see Liquid buying in, in the following fall and even saved a boatload of cash right there. You can see he's currently operating with 1,200. He bought utility. If NAF can hold on to this, at least it gives them something to work with. We'll be looking for an opening kill from him. They can pick up an AK and be able to work with a little bit extra. But all in all, this is the chance for VP to tie things up. We'll be looking very good for the fourth round. So 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> and NAF's been spotted now. Probably keep your head down, mate, as... He will be that only upgraded pistol going into the next round. Fallen with 3.1, he's going to want to hold on to the cash to get the AWP out as soon as possible. Stewie and Grim, they're going to get this uh, 2400 as the loss bonus next round. So their CT side of buy going into round number eight. It's still not going to be perfect. They can save a gun. They can do some damage here. Make sure that VP aren't just Smoke getting the cross, away with it. Stack something. I don't hate it. He's just going to be throwing under the Smoke to suggest there's potential for a stack and going for a usual split three, leaning towards a bit of an aggressive short maneuver, perhaps facilitating... Oh, with the US. A lot here. Plenty of information and a little bit of bloodshed. Stewie caught on doors. Yeah, James, the goalkeeper in spawn, mate. Nothing getting past him. Yeah, true. No funny business. Pretty standard stuff here from VP, just making sure they don't run into any of these stacks. And it is just the USPs. If they don't go B, NAF is completely negated. Sanji taking space towards long as well. So against these USPs, this is the perfect avenue. Just go straight up, get the mollies in towards car. You can even just go contact across, leave Jame in the back line to that AWP. A couple simple flashes, take the fights, easy as you like. Once upon a time, these rounds, you know, you just send in some very hungry fraggers that go out to see what they can find. But now with economy and, you know, every dollar, every penny is important these days with how good the teams have become. Anti-ecos like this, you want to keep them spotless. Smoke on the cross, Jame up and over the top. Nobody flash pushing through. He <laughs> is so thorough. That's the thing, right? They, they're they ready for the flash push. They're ready for the peek out from top side. They're ready from the smoke push. It's, and the just, it's a joy to watch. I mean, you can see how many, how many steps there is to taking that site just by default. Coming back up long, that's Kickett's responsibility. And 
Oh. See Fall and actually land his double ding. That was enough for Kick It to go down. It won't be the spotless round after all. Naf still has his armor Deagle and he's just joined his teammates towards short. Good damage. Yeah, Sanji great. catching flak. So annoying. Just jiggle on the jiggle on the jiggle. Making these AKs life a living nightmare. They don't even have to take these fights, right? It's not like they need the money. It's all good if they just keep those USPs. It's not like they're going to get away with any AK-47s. Fallen trying to make a bit of a play onto the site here. Yukinda's going to deal with him. No dramas whatsoever. Elise might even go down with the bomb here if he doesn't force forward. And there it is. Four to three in favor of the Polar Bears. Now, if we'll hold on to that Kevlar, an important piece is he only has 4.1 to buy in going into round number eight. And this was some of the worries that I was talking about, right? In the sense that these CT side of buys are not going to have all the utility yeah. they require. Stu's brought in with a smoke and a flash. He doesn't have a Molotov, doesn't have a HE. It's not like when they're just in these defaults, they're not going to be able to harass them in the same way that an Astralis might, right? If they have those full buys with the constant nades, the constant harassment as they take space. Liquid are going to have to put their bodies on the line. And what they did on pistol was aggression as a team. What avenues do they have for us? In this gun round right here. Locking down long as James taken that AWP lower dark to deal with the short boost. We can see nobody's home. Like we'd have long fallen perched up on catwalk, ready to shoot and fall. But no eyes on mid right here for Liquid, meaning they are susceptible to a mid to B. And that lack of utility on Naf and Stewie will come into play. Oh my oh, golly what gosh. What was that from your kinder? And he's got some pep in his step. He keeps sw swinging wide into the site. Elise tucked on Goose, down to Grim to help him. No way. Finally goes down before any more damage can be inflicted. Great supportive flash from Grim. Isolates these a little, kick it overwhelms. And all over the shop, Liquid start to drop. Only two remain already. Stewie's well aware that Buster late on the tons. I think he spotted him. Oh, Buster clean as well. What is going on? These VP gentlemen are squeaky clean. Just so sharp here and Grim can't get away with the Famous. That will be a five to three. Like, I love that we see it from Fallen's POV. Like you saw it from Glaives on train the other day. He's, here Just, it is again. Look how... <laughs> it's got to be a pre-fire, right? Like yeah, it has 100%, to be pre-fire in that 100%. angle. This wasn't. This was just great stuff from Buster. He even finds a third neat and tidy as well. Oh my. You got that peak right there from your kinder and the one that he did to Glaive yesterday on train where he just peered out high ramp and just shot two bullets and Glaive's exploded. Like I'm sitting there looking, where was Glaive even standing? Now, uh, we will be seeing another pistol upgrade here from Liquid. Next round, finally the full guns with utility will be on the cards. As Let's see what they can get done. Couple Deagles, P255-7, falling onto that USP again. Nade damage, not offering a lot. VP are looking very, very sharp to kick yeah. things off. Everything seems seems to have intent. Oh, okay. Elise has got a lot to contend with on short. Falls off after initial scary shots. And this is going to be the B execute. Double flashes. Dewey's lost his util. Naf does find one with his P250. Overwhelmed now. Two into the side from the CTs. Grim can't help because Sanji's just popping heads. Look how glorious it looks. That's some problems if Sanji's popping off like that. VP. Might be running Those away were his with first three here. frags of the game. And they were so swift. Lovely, lovely stuff for Verta's Pro. And this is starting to be quite the streak, Chad. This is going to be their fifth in a row. Yeah, and here's the deal. Over those five rounds, they've only lost... What are we looking at here? One, two, three, four players over oh, a five-round yeah. spree. So... Uh, that would have been bankrupt every time. Yeah. I think we're saving that Kevlar vest around other things. Keeping it very clean here, RVP. Going to be cleaner as they're just executing liquid right now. Every time the crosshair is perfectly placed for the heads. They're not missing. They're not mincing their shots. And another clean one right there. So six to three. Yeah. Four players survive. Your kinder the only one to go down. He's all happy with that. 11K residual in the bank. Buster has 16K. That tells you just how well things have been going since uh, VP have been starting to put rounds on the board. 16 grand. He's invested a little bit down to 15.3. Uh, so still quite a nice bank balance right there. High roller in the server here tonight. Orps out for fall and no double ult for Stu here. Elijah's going to have an org in hand and they are very scared on this cross. Team Liquid need to make sure they're lobbing that smoke in time and time again. Bait and switch set up towards the doors. This is Fallen's chance to find an opening. Oh, just a flash of your kinder around the Xbox. And Nate is right on his nose. Doesn't do as much as I expect. Is. And Fallen finds his first up mid. Stewie's taking space as well. They all are. 
James caught a lot of damage from a liege there. Locked in now. They'll have, maybe have to drop Util to bail him out, and he's doing it himself. Drops a full set just to evade. They take long. A lot of space taken. Elise with the Org is given the task. Now with the scope, it certainly does seem like a more favorable duel. And knowing James Lowe, all of those duels now favor Elise's Org. Looks like they're just going to park the bus here for a minute, VP. That pause button being hit again. All four players over towards long. Plenty of utility for a long cross. Yeah, but are they counting on James to open up? I don't fancy his chances against that Org. Just staring at them. The turret that is Elise. Have you seen him playing aim labs? Grief. No, thank you very much. With 10 HP or five, excuse me, it's going to be either Jame or that five-man swing. Let's see how this one goes down. Fallen's there to swing out to help. Util will fly over. A run boost, perhaps. Oh, and there goes Jame, but it is only the one. There's the Fallen trade. Shot. And that was exactly what they planned to. Converting Fallen's frag. He doesn't catch Sanji across, but that's not the bomb. And he seems to know it. One more across now. Buster does get it there. No one can contest. It should be a plant. 20 seconds. They're still threatening here, VP. It's not over just yet. Both in the site, they have been hitting absolutely everything. Oh, and Sanji's found another one onto Grim. Not a 2v4. Oh, they don't oh, miss. Oh, he's shaping up. It's going to be Stewie and Naf. Sanji's got too many targets. One from either side, and they do weather the storm. Liquid finally put one on the board after what has been a five, six round silence. That's the fourth for the CT squad. Here's the deal, right? If you're VP and you're in that situation, a two on four, you get across the site. Not only do you plant the bomb, your economy is already bonkers. So you're just adding back on top of that. And then you force Liquid down to only two players. We talk about the magic number being three. Liquid need to drop guns across here. So somebody's going to go missing or somebody's going to be light on nades. Maybe won't have a big M4A4 and that's going to be grim. He's taken that bit of pillar again, back down to a Famous. Utility is looking good, but Liquid need to string a couple together here. That bank balance of VP right now, it's going to take a few <laughs> rounds to really force them down into Squalor. Oh, I thought they were using that HE smoke to, come, to cross. Jane clearly has vision. That wall bank's not far off either. Oh, he wants more. Double orbs are out. It's Jane that takes down the Elige first. So a 2-2 split of their divided resources. What just happened there on mid doors? Was that the CT nade to cross? I, I, I think so. I, oh, and Stewie's... More lead through the door. James just essentially not won them this round, but he's given him a damn leg up. The problem for Liquid here is they don't have much room to work with whatsoever. They need to be cognizant in the mid to B. Now this Lurk Smoke comes out. Naf is on high alert. Has to play up close oh. and personal. Oh, he's found a sweet spot. Between all of the util, it could be the frag onto Buster's Jiggle. Oh, it was an opportunity, but it's gone now. And the AWP isolated, they know. A shot has been fired. AWP on B. Util drop doors. I feel like 50 if, seconds, Chad. Yeah, if you know there's an AWP back a plat, a mid to B might be perfect here. They want to take some short control early. The bomb hasn't taken any space whatsoever. It's just kick it at this juncture. They have all the room they need to work with for a mid to B. That would We've be got the two perfect, smokes. perfect call. Looks like that's where they're... Setting up tons and two mid. Jane wants to join them as well. It's going to be an explode onto Naf. <sighs> he has the AWP, but it's, this would have to be miraculous. Try the same trick. Oh, and they do line up. Oh, but they spread. Missed shots. And VP find the two necessary frags. It's only Grim and Fallen now. From behind, perhaps kick it. Caught unawares, but there's already support in tunnels in Jame. And just like that, Virtus Pro, another spotless round. How many is that? It seems like every round they've won, they've had, as you said, four, if not five, alive. Yeah, out of these last three of rounds, I think it's the, the last six that we're talking about here. Fallen will grab another there one. But uh, all in all, they, they've had five of those rounds with four players survive, uh, and one of those rounds with, with everybody survive. So let's see how badly they want to throw resources here at Fallen. They can chase. They have the bank to do so. Fallen's grabbed another. This really isn't hurting VP by any means. If they rip this AWP out of Fallen's hands, they're going to continue throwing bodies at him. And Fallen is just absolutely wrecking him. Come on. Give it to him. He has survived. Fallen will bring the AWP into the next. He refuses to surrender his arms, go down quietly. It's not about breaking the bank. It's about keeping that weapon into the next. It's going to be gruesome for Liquid one way or the other. This is what happened. A lovely breakdown. Yeah. So that it was nade, a smoke and the nade. Th so the nade hit a liege there. So I, I maybe it was flubbed on the throw. That was uh, a little bit of a problem. 
Fallen makes it look stylish while saving this, but what I'm talking about here is that the money is, is really good for VP. We're already, what, 12 rounds in or going into the 12th. Lots of action on long this it, time, and they're following through. That last round, Chad, matters a lot more if Fallen does something with this. True. A whole lot more, and Elise wants to make space for him. Oh my good God, he could lock the door. If they could work this out, if they gamble correctly, Elise hasn't chosen to push the issue. But they are going for an all too familiar strat. It's long, and Fallen has his AWP. They're walking up now. He won't have many more opportunities to pull that trigger. He has got Sanji. There's more to come, big swing. What's he supposed to do now The smoke's bloom? A CT smoke around the site makes things awkward. He's actually been boosted. This could be spicy, but the flash. Buster didn't catch a glimpse of him. There's another opportunity for Fallen. The smokes will fade. About seven seconds on that. The CT's re-smoke, hoping he has another chance to strike. VP, they're not taking any chances. We know they don't rush their plants. And he's lost his chance now. Slips off. Pulls the plug. Grim has pulled something out of the hat. Buster's gone. One goose too long. Fallen retake doesn't sound so dreamy altogether. He does have a kit still on stuck on the ramp. This is so difficult. Do they go for this? Fallen wants to have a chance. And James taking it down now. They know where Grim is. James found the frags necessary and he sends them packing. They don't get to keep a penny. Well, they threw a lot at that, right? They, they really gave that a good crack. Now the score on eight to four, doubled the rounds here, VP over Liquid. And you can see how they're really just trying to work for any kill. And VP have these crossfires set up perfectly. You're right, they're not rushing the plant. They're not giving up opportunities where they would be down a man while the digits are being punched on in. Thorough stuff. And when you do an early long take like that, you give yourself so much time on the clock to work with. Falling back into another AWP. Stewie this time has one. We've seen, what, well, Elise pick it up for a mid-pick. We've seen Stewie have it early. Oh, Stewie's been tagged a couple times here as well. So he's very frustrated. You see the alternate peak he's gone for there. Drops down suicide, hard right. And pre-aims that door for the cross. Stewie's caught off by James Bag of Tricks. And have to stomach that wound for the rest of this one. This is a crucial round as well. CT economy's been so fragile and it will shatter as Virtus Pro with their swelling coffers look for another mid to be. Just look how isolated that CT defense is right now. The two players on the B bomb site both tucked in. There's no early warning signal if they're out mid doors. They're actually giving up that space completely. BP aren't to know that right now, but okay, there we go. Fallen getting well, the better of the this time round. They know there's one up to A and one up towards B. Fallen completely isolated. He won't be able to support this mid, this split. An early peak from Stewie. He does pull the trigger. Takes down Kicker as he falls. They're swinging in. Naf multiple targets to find. Positioning was good, but couldn't find another chance. Three on three, it's a tough sight to retake, and Grim has given him a way in. By having tunnels, it's no longer a guarantee. They know there's one close, and he's burning. Loses a significant amount of health, force forwards. Time's on Liquid's side as well. Those beeps are practically in slow motion. Elish has util, a single flash to get them in. And in goes Fallen. Perfect timing, he tries to no-scope. Sanji's done enough. Time ticking, James hit another, James tucks in. Looking for the no-scope, I think that's enough. Elish, 10 second defuse. Gonna be close. Plenty of time, what am I talking about right there? Liquid get their fifth. I was really worried about that scenario. The kit was on Grim so coming through tense, tunnels. So dude, I mean... They had to throw every single body at the line. I mean, look what it comes down to. Elise has to mantle on the box, hunt down Jamie. If he gets around that box, Chad, if he gets to play, pull out the USP, pull out the P250, roam around, you know what I'm saying? It gets awkward. Very difficult Elish stuff. Elise pushing the issue just in time. Okay. It was double orbs there that gave Liquid the success. Stu getting one and going straight down. Fallen getting Yakinda over there at short, and this time they're only operating with one. Can only bring that through with the CT economy. Really hamstrung right now, and more space being taken straight in. in towards B. Oh, this is so bad. They've already lost Stewie. It's round 14. You're on Famas's. Nothing left in res residual. You just might have to Bend the knee on this one. The bomb's already going down. Well, if you're VP, you can really hunt again. Like what they tried to do to Fallen earlier, go for it one more time. Look at the money, right? Yakinda has 5.5, Sandy 5.6. We got Buster up there around that 4K mark. They can definitely chase and they should. Take these guns away, give Liquid absolutely nothing going into the final round to play. The loss bonus into that, it's gonna be 2,900. So you may as well hard to hightail it. Just start putting the pressure on. Yakinda's starting to search now through T-spawn. Sandy's gonna clear CT spawn any moment. Bomb over halfway ticked. 
So they're going to give this one a crack, but bunker down towards long. All four players from Liquid here, and they need to hold on to these. Kick it's about to get flashed in long here. Yeah, I think Grim's the most vulnerable. Controls his spray and takes two weapons away. Maintaining the three, though, that's the dream. And a ninth for Virtus Pro. So this is their pick. Looking to secure double digits in the first. That certainly doesn't sound too shabby at all. And they'll have everything they could desire. One final attempt from Team Liquid. This has been a very, very trial by fire for Team Liquid's defense. I mean, VP have been calling such an almost spotless game, punishing every pick they make, every tag. Final round of our first half, and Fallen does manage to find another. Saving grace for Liquid has been that warping presence, and I haven't said that in years. <laughs> well, he's finding some impact here, but is it enough to get them this round over towards B again? Liquid have been under the pump towards that side of the map. Four players in upper tunnels, a little bit of noise being made. The nade just shy. Sanji taking two points of damage just there, and they're continuing forward. Now, if it's not easy to pull this one off, holding down the trigger, and it's a double, nearly three. Yakinda so low after that exchange with Naf. He's done significant damage. He's made it more than winnable. Kick it. Throws the AWP to the low, Yakinda, given the responsibility of tons. Kick it to hold the wolf from the door. Three advancing. Fully healthed. Lots of nades as well. We could see a smoke tons. That's going to isolate Yakinda completely out of this exchange. Just to kick it then. Flashes are good. Space being taken. One swings in. Another perfect flash. At least gets the first. It's just Yakinda. A neat and tidy. A sixth put on the board for Team Liquid. Closing it out with some style. And that's what they needed. North America versus Virtus Pro. Doing the old Orc proud. I don't fear anyone on the server uh, nowadays, but before I was afraid playing against Calzera when he was on his prime. Two thousand seventeen, Twitter doubled up its character to two hundred and eighty. PUBG and Fortnite came out. Neymar's transfer from Barcelona to PSG broke football record, and Nico's transfer from Mouse Sports to Face broke one in Counter Strike. It was also the year when everything fell apart in Virtus Pro as well. It was the beginning of new era, slowly saying goodbye to the lineups of old, with the birth of new Faceman and Astralis, who would go on to fight for domination over the scene, with Glaive making his debut on Katowice stage only four months after joining Astralis. I should say, Kiyoshima gets his head blown off. It's Glaive to open up the box right here. And he gets a double as well, make it a triple. Fantastic work from Glaive. That's going to be round done and dusted. It was also a tournament with a lot of upsets. SK Gaming, NIP, Fnatic, and Virtus Pro dropped out in the group stage. In the grand final, super team of FaZe, with Nico, Guardian, Alu, Olaf Meister, and Carrigan, who recently rejoined the team, met Astralis. It was their first final of this caliber. For Astralis, it was second in a row after winning Atlanta Major against us. Astralis, still with Kirby, but without Magisk. Tried to fire in, it's gonna get planted. Glaive and Dupree pushing up from Banana. It's all on the newest acquisition and it's all done! Astralis wins! Are we talking about the era of Danish dominance? Oh yeah, definitely. Danish dominance, put your hands together for your winner. They are the world champions, the Intel Extreme Masters Season 11 champions, Dupree and Astralis!
Virtus Pro ahead in the race to finish this dust two off quick. Nine to six though, Liquid overcoming what was a very tough Counter-Strike uh, economy lesson in the CT side. They're coming into the T side now. I've got Sponge alongside for the ride. And a lot of utility for a pistol round, Chad. That yeah. is boatloads, double smokes. We've got flashbangs, we've got Actually four of them. Too. That's an interesting buy. Let's see where they want to deploy this because if they go late and somebody gets picked off, Liquid's going to have a whole task. Double smoke points to long. Well, they just spotted Sanji on the corner, and that's not the case. Look at this. Buster and Kicker are already pushing up a tunnel, so they're going to get a boatload of information. That's going to facilitate Jame and Yakinda to rotate back over towards A. Pressure on Sanji now. He's calling this out to his team. And you're right. All these smokes, the long cross could come in, the Molotov to help hold them at bay, and the run boost to at least take some space. Yeah, and they're not rushing this. Jame and Yakinda still hanging around mid that mid-doors area. They don't have that info yet. First lineups being... Deployed as they start to walk up. They're going to have four CTs up on short here, Chad. Sandy to delay. If he could just find one, it's going to get awkward from short. Across they go. Now the flames leave. So yet to see bloodshed. Bomb to be planted. There's still that wave of blue on short. Now reveals itself. Elise has got some unfavorable jewels, really, with the Glock. And oh, the flashes, though. Oh, the flashes set them up for success. Goosh, James got one HP. And oh. finished off neat and tidy. Elise has quite the pistol. Three to his name. And they don't lose a single man. It couldn't have got better than that. Just like their CT side of pistol, right? Remember that aggression? They pushed up, they took some fights, they found themselves in a three on five situation, whittled it down somehow. Old boy Kicker gets a plant. Well, this time around on the T side, both squads saved flashes for these late round executes, right? Where they're coming on in, you're retaking. All right, we're going to flash off of your push. Same thing happened almost instantly from both sides. And to keep both pistols clean, Liquid, they should be in the driver's seat of this game. They convert right here against this force by a VP. There's two scouts out, lower dark being taken. Stewie's going to rattle that info off, and it was just feigned. They actually forced a player through in the line of sight and have dropped back. So Grim towards backyard needs to be on high alert right now. Rotation from both teams over towards long. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Two, two scouts. This this right here is going to be difficult to get past. If the first misses, there's no way the second does. And you can see this. They're just standing next to each other. Jamie and Yakinda both perched towards the top of A. One oh. tag, dead. That's an important find. Elish peeks bravely into what was clearly the scout. Knocks the head off of Jame. Yakinda feel the feed as well with the scout. They'll be aware that there's a second to fear. Sanji recovers it. They can just stay in this setup, right? As soon as one scout shoots, somebody from Liquid has to peek to take the space. The other one's there ready to shoot again. So this is going to be so difficult to get past. Oh, and a leash goes down as he jumps. That is so punishing. Not another one. Actual damage from Yakinda into Grim. Into his head. Three frags on the scout. No armor, no problem. Liquid, a spotless pistol. Met by Yakinda in the second. Smokes on the cross. Stewie has to be the hero. Naf alongside for support. Long range at this point. He has an AK-47, but he doesn't have the health. It's one bullet. Any of those through the smoke could have taken him down. Oh, now flames! Flames! Okay. These are, you'll have heard that. They'll know he's close. Buster's looking at the smoke jump up. Stewie is across. Naf, now with an AK-47, can do damage. Kick it. He's found on Elevator, expecting to swing, and Naf, he finds them both. Just one more on the site to save Liquid, oh, and he's found it as well. Bales Team Liquid out of trouble. What a sensation he is. We got plays like that out of Naf versus Na'Vi. We're going to need more of that here today against VP, because that is a round that almost completely falls apart. Look at this, mid-air, back turned. Oh, pinned him to the wall. Cop that one, Alish. Oh, what are you yeah. meant to do, mate? Flashed off, jumping in, doing all the specky work. Well, now if he can this, bail you this out. This is the frag, man. Sanji doing what, what anyone would expect him to do. Swing out for the trade. And that's included in that list is Naf. What a win. Oh, they'll be, they'll be thanking their lucky stars for that one. And the stripes. Oh, Alish uh, gave you Kinder a bit of a nice shot right there. Respect being given in this one is one round away, Liquid here from tying things up has felt like a game where they've had to battle for everything. You look at those CT side of rounds, they were able to gain. Hold up a second, Grim. Yeah. Action on here. Could be a lovely hand, handful of cash. With their knife out, no less. Bombs outside 1200. tunnels. If they keep pushing, they might find it. Looks like Alicia's deterred him enough. Simple flash, pushing in with the MAC-10 of his own. Oh, 
they stopped them from picking up that gun. So the fact that Grimm's gone down, not too many worries whatsoever. Recovered the bomb. They've still got a bit of territory here, plenty of time to work with. It is just these pistols. Last round, obviously very dangerous. Double scouts, you had deagles, you had everything. This time, just these USPs and the P250 back of kick it there. He's on the wrong side of the map as Sanji, the lone defender here. Doesn't even have a skin on his USP. Let's see what he can do with this. Flashes, mollies, nades, it's all coming on through. He's even been spotted, tagged on up, and he shouldn't be too long for this world. Sanji goes down, bomb will follow. Team Liquid will be tying things up here in round number 18. James being able to go get that MAC-10, so let's see if they can find an exit. Any money that he can bank will go towards his AWP fund, rattling that little tin. Oh, a very loud Elige. It's never fun when you can hear him coming. It's never fun. You Bounding still go around. down. Nine to nine, the scores. You can see Grim highlighted there with a nice double. And so it's time for VP to be having to weather that similar storm we just saw Liquid overcome. And actually, in a timeout called. It's time for Jason Moses O'Toole, known for his time on the caster desk, host, analyst, and commentator extraordinaire. It's a little bit of a reminder now into the ranks alongside Fallen as well. Stewie, this brain trust of Team Liquid, ensuring everyone's on the same page. And for Vertus Pro, a moment to catch their breath. Not a single kit in play, Chad. This is dream starts in both halves for Team Liquid. Pistols convert the second, Liquid in the second half even converted the third. So they've kept it relatively spotless, obviously, the second round. We'll keep that one in our back pocket for later. But they've set themselves up a platform to be able to convert here. They need to go up against the gun rounds of VP now, and you bang on, there is no kit. The rounds that Liquid were winning were post plants. They were diffusers. Let's see if VP want to take the fight to Liquid and deny that space. Yeah, I mean, if they can get into the site, the chances of that going for that retake do dip off dramatically. That's actually done some damage right there with that AK on the cross. So Buster just tickled down a little bit, chip damage to 77. I think better of going near Grimm's bullets. Feels like they're magnetized to him right now. Default spread here from Liquid across the map. Nades being lined on up. Nobody home to receive. So doing a good job of staying out of the line of fire here, Liquid. Clearing out towards mid doors. Elise even Ooh. brings the bullets through. And wow, he cops a bunch back, you kinder. Anything you can do, I can do better. That wall bang right down the nose of Elise as he holds down that spray. He might even go for more here. I'm not sure Elise is going to escape. Looks like on the flash and the jump across, he does live to fight another day. James holding it. Not an easy shot to hit by any stretch, but narrow margins at the moment separating the first frag. We haven't seen it yet. They're actually going back towards long and, and James staying around on the corner here. When they know the AWP is long, it's surprising we don't see them go into a bit more of a short execute. But if they feign this short piece, James might drop back. This all comes down to timing. Stubborn. And he evades the flash nicely. Bodies dropped, dropping his util now towards that short presence. He's doing both jobs simultaneously. Good flash. They don't check it. No punish. Stewie with one. Pressure Tries now. to one way. Don't forget Elise is low. Anything he finds, no, not to be. Sanji punishes and only two members left as they cross in. Looking great for Vertus Pro's 10th here. Yakinda in support. Spray is golden from Naf, but it would have to be more than flanking. that. Oh, no time on that with the AUG. VP, they'll take it. Well, handled. they even denied the plant right there. So this is going to force Liquid into a bit of a decision-making moment here. They aren't operating with full buys on all their players. They will have to drop guns across to make this one work, and players might even go without. But Sanji doing a good job playing around the smokes and kick it. He always seems to come in with the longest flanks, right? We talk about on overpass. We're here on dust two, really late there on long, finding impact. Buys coming on out. Fallen operating with a Glock. I have never seen Fallen this selfless before in my life. He is playing that in-game leader role. Oh, to a T. they're out. This is where it gets interesting. Yakinda and Sanji post swinging out. Stewie does go down. That's the important trade. There's one more in pit. Can they isolate? Sanji in trouble. Jane desperately with even the P250 combined with the nade. They get him boosted on blue now. Sanji should be a dead man walking. He's throwing out all of his nades. They actually drop off the bin. Power position lost. Jame in support as well. If they swing to punish, the smoke does isolate Sanji. He's desperately trying to save him. They're desperately trying to hunt him, and Sanji does eventually go down. Three on three now. Can slow things down here, Liquid. There's no more rush. <sighs> oh, chaos, and here he is, ready to turn the key on the reverse. 
you really cannot leave long without getting through kick it. No, and if they try and drop back whatsoever, they're going to suffer some huge casualties. As I mentioned, Fallen, he just dropped guns. He was operating with a Glock and utility. He's picked up an AK, has no armor behind that. So no matter who fires at him, he'll be absolutely shredded. He's got two smokes. I mean, like, it, it's just willing them to try and walk into Buster and James. It's going to be so telegraphed, though, right? They know it has to be long. So yeah. if they drop these smokes, it might isolate the one fight, but Virtus probably know what's coming. They want to boost around the first, see if they can find Buster. He's so perfectly tucked in. Oh, and they're moving in unison. Just to widen the peak a little. Now across. And Jame hits his first. Elish knocked on his bottom. And, oh, oh Fallen, has no Fallen has no idea. Fallen has no idea. But Naf, bodyguards, just enough for the plant. Now, no armor, but a 1v2 and a repositioning Jame. He's actually joined him long. Look how scared Fallen is. You think there's one close short? He has no idea. And it's an orb that's Oh, what a shot from Fallen. He's still thinking about short. Now maybe working it out, piecing it together. He's cognizant of Jame, and there it is. Playing the long game. Nice try all round from Fallen, though. You can see he's still at the tippy top of the charts. Where's he now? 16 from Jame. Fallen 17 on 17. Fallen. Naf's up to 17 as well, so... Getting a bit of a bag Ooh. himself. But the fact that Naf saves yeah. Fallen right here, that facilitated what could have been a nice one on two. Jane was over towards that short position, quickly rotated around towards long, and you can see Fallen, he's lost him here. No idea. Really good work there from VP. That's going to be the 11th round. Right now, Team Liquid will be taking a timeout there, second, just to talk things through. And Stu's having a bit of a rough one there. Four kills for him. Just really unable to find himself any impact in this game. Hard when you're no. that entry fragger, but they started on that CT side, right? And he kept getting leg jumping through the doors, keep getting tagged by Jame. Not the way you want to be starting. You can't really find your groove. With that plant, it's given Team Liquid enough money to go for a partial buy. In the following round, they're going to be getting, uh, I believe, the $2,400 loss bonus. So they can spend a little bit, right? Naf can probably spend the most here. Fallen's wanna, going to want to make sure he gets that AWP. So maybe we won't see Naf investing too much. But VP is set up for their 12th nicely, unless we can get some miracle individual moments out of Team Liquid. That's what this is going to come down to. Something a little bit quick, maybe take some space. A banger of a Deagle headshot here or there. They're not operating with a lot. Yeah, it looks like an early Xbox smoke. Stewie heading towards the three CTs on long. And he's on his own. He isn't. He's out, and he's making a lot of noise. He's actually managed to inflict some damage as well. Your Kinder gets the pressure. You're going mid to be on this. Yeah, and they're holding it. They're not ready for it, though. And now the smoke blooms. Kick it. Buster, spring to action, spring to life, oh, and fill the them. feed. No one left. Stewie caught through the doors as well. That is a quick solution to the problem. So you could see what the plan was there. If Stewie took a lot of contact, had multiple members try and cross pit, were fighting around the smoke, then they just go up short, right? They know that maybe there's one fight and they can isolate that, get the bomb down, take control, help Stewie out. The fact that they don't see anything, they have to change their plan halfway through. Mid to B, all right, let's hope that there's an avenue that we can get through there. They get out, but you can just see all the nades, all the eyes completely drawn and liquid. They try something fast, but they get denied and Fallen operating without an AWP here means that Jame can take as many liberties as he wants. Fallen has to jiggle that door, can't even go to take a fight. Needs towards long again. Control gifted for VP. This time more access through the lower tunnel. Stewie, any opening, any space, anything he can provide right now is what Team Liquid need. Because Fallen doesn't have the AWP, the Riflers have to get it done instead. Also lots of noise. Nade exchange towards start of short. Utility entirely forces Jame off. He has a response of his own. Yeah, this volley and nade is very standard stuff. Not too many HEs from VP or any at all to do damage. Just these mollies to hold them at bay and easily avoidable for Team Liquid. They've got three smokes left, a truckload of flashes, a molly, and they're giving up long. So if they go for a short set piece into A, this has to work. They're running out of rounds to be able to go for set executes. Jane goes looking, and he finds his target. Stewie sent to another grave. Frustration mounting. Early casualty, liquid to overcome it. Passive stance, but not for your kinder. He's gone forward in front of the smoke, trying to hold them at bay. Jane catches flashes, but did land some lead. Elise is dead. Two francs to Jane's name. Misses his shot. Now they're across, or are they? Can't hit through the box, but kick it can. Fallen is exposed, and so much damage. With just 10 HP left, he's a sitting target. Three coming in from long. Fallen needs a headshot now. 
That's not to be. Grim asked to clutch. Good reaction onto one, but that'll be it. VP, very comfortable retake. No sweat on the brow and an AK upgrade for Buster. I feel like they definitely need the AWP on Team Liquid because they need to activate Fallen for opening kills. Stu's just having a rough time of it right now. All the timings, every time he looks for a gap, they've just smoked either side of mid. You're not expecting Jame to be standing in the middle of mid. They smoked CT and they also smoked off B Hill and there was a flash coming and he's still standing in the open. Got to ask yourself, what more do we need to do? And without that AWP presence, Jame's going to have no drama going for those fights time and time again. He didn't have much impact at all yesterday in their victory and they still get across the line. But today, it's a different story. 19 kills for him, now leading the server. And VP only three rounds away from picking up map number one. Their choice. Liquid forced into yet another timeout. Yeah, what are the mean, options here? Use them while you got them. You can feel it slipping away. You can feel Virtus Pro really starting to pick up momentum. Try and slow them down. It's a bitter pill in the econ economical department. It will be the armor, the nades, something out of the strat book, something you've dry run a couple of times. A fully bought up VP and a very coordinated looking Vertus Pro as well. The scoreboard makes it look like it's quite clear in where they're lacking. And unfortunately for Stewie, his role is to take space and find entries. So the fact that he's not operating to that and we find this scoreline, yeah, eyes are on him. This utility right now, they're going to be quite brazen again with the pistols. Fast flash down towards mid. Ooh, okay. I do like to see the change of pace. It's going to be something that VP have to react to as opposed to be prepared for. They have short control immediately. They could almost just go for a set piece off the bat. And if they do so, it's just Jane they have to get past. That rotation in spawn, Yakinda isolated, looking for a drop down. Early utility just to bait anything out of the CTs. The second wave, the double pump coming now. Yakinda not really on the side to support Jane. They might have to play retake, and it does seem like that's the call. Concede the plant, concede the site, and retake together. They've kept one flash for this. It's on Naf. Could be the clutch flash, something they need because VP have a lot. Oh, Stewie goes looking and there's no trade available. Yakinda just waits, bides his time and strikes. Nade towards Naf's corner. Oh, it's perfect. On his nose, Yakinda's already found a second. Grim's there, the flash is out from Naf and it slows them down, but it's not enough. No CTs down yet and there's still plenty of time on that clock. V VP. They're not sure yet. Getting a bit awkward now. Five second to fuse. And there you have it. One's on it. And Sanji can't really be knocked off it. Look at the bodyguards. Wow. They make that retake, albeit right down to the final closing 10 seconds. They do manage to make it look pretty damn intentional. Yeah, VP wouldn't do it any other way, would they? Love to run that clock down. And they have all five of their players currently positive as far as kill death ratio is going. So everybody operating at quite the high capacity. On the other side of things, it's just Naf and Fallen. They will get that AWP out. Fallen needs to find some impact with this. We've seen a bit of it so far. Five of those kills were trying to save, but he has been hitting the shots he needs to. Smoke towards upper tunnels early. Just one player over towards B as they've gone for oh, ouch. a poor man Aileen. And there you go, Jame with the leg shot down and towards the lower tunnels. Alige operating on life support and that nade might be enough. Just dunk straight on the head. Oh, he waited for him to throw the molly because he knows he's got it. Perfection. They can just clamp down on them now, VP. Five on four situation, no need to be limping out these nades. There's no sound cues, nothing they need to react to right now. Holding onto a lot of smokes, a lot of Molotovs. They can use these defensively. And there's another oh. one. His timing, impeccable today. We'll get into A for almost free here though, Alex. You can see all the utility coming out now. Nobody able to stop this, but we saw VP play retake against the Eco. They're happy to do it again. You have Sanji's to be. closed the door on long. They're all isolated towards short you and sight. have to be worried about short. And okay, Naf has turned his attention to it. So a chance to be the hero once again. Oh, he's hearing a lot of steps. Multiple targets. He needs a few here, Naf. He's got it in Molotov. He's trying to focus on multiple targets. That's the swing and he does adjust nicely into Sanji Stewie though. Quiet so far. Needs a double on short to make this round oh, reality. And Buster, Buster just come blows on. his head off. Fallen. Pressure from every side, every angle. The bullets just keep coming, as does kick it. Looking for the defuse. Buster's there in time. We see our 15th. Virtus Pro are just running towards the finish line here. It's been a streak of blue, six in a row from VP. And after what was, as Chad described, a dream start to this, this half. Yeah, both halves for Liquid. And they're only walking away with this with potentially nine rounds. So 
Not good enough in the gun rounds. There's no other way to put it. VP are absolutely destroying them. Always having nades left for the retake, finding perfect timings on James every time he steps on out. And James yeah. tags one lower tunnels and your kid has got to line up for his punish. Oof. This is where, uh, you know, after map number one, Fallen might need to get the team in a bit of a huddle and give them some kind of a speech and a half here because they're looking very deflated. Last time out used, and you were right. If you've got them, you may as well use them. You don't want to lose a map and have it given it your best shot. The plants and the full max loss bonus aren't going to facilitate yet another buy. Falling onto the AWP once more. Stewie's yet to purchase. Nothing seems to be going his way. If he can have one round, it's too late now, but maybe if he has it towards the tail end of this game, right now would be perfect. Give him a little bit of life going into map number two. Needs something here, Liquid. Leech has a bit of a long spawn, but he's on his lonesome. He's biffing straight down mid. Oh, Jay actually fancied his chances there. And oh. look at the spray from Elige. Not for the first time catching a couple of bullets into Jame. Hard to put him down though. Yeah, I don't know where Liquid can go, right? They've, they've struggled. They've gone for the long crosses. They've been denied. They've gone for these short executes. They get sight, right? You're not having any problems getting the bomb sight. They're giving it to you. You have no nades left to stop the retake. And right now, your Kinder's ready to gobble up a couple. Fallen's holding the tightest of lines for the door's peak. Standoff there. More nade damage. Do you know why Fallen's glued to this position? Because of James' timing on the mid picks. And he's not even there. He's elsewhere this time round. Smokes on your kinder. Another frag. Stewie first again. Stewie caught as he mantled the box. A cruel punishment for Stewie and over the smoke. Fallen's head sticks out like a sore thumb. Yukinda, two frags to pull Dust2 into a VP semi-final map one. Only Naf, Grim, and a tagged up Liege to keep Liquid's fighting chances. Made no headway in this round whatsoever. Nothing. They're just going straight into what VP won. And they're ready to receive him. Sandy not taking early contact. There's the supporting flashes. Grim sees nobody home and opts to plant. It's not been an issue for VP in the past, and it doesn't seem like it'll be an issue here. Just onto a leash then, and it's clean, it's tidy. It's Virtus Pro, baby. They are here in the semi-finals with a statement on Dust2. Team Liquid 9, Virtus Pro 16. The semi-finals continue. We'll be breaking that one down at the desk, that's for sure. Do stay tuned for IEM Katowice semi-finals.